Hello everyone, my name is Raven. Welcome to Raven67854 Gaming. And welcome to my Atomic Tutorial series using Unreal Engine 4. Um, now what we're going to learn in this video here uh, is how to create a collision mesh for both the cube and the tower. Uh, now due to their geometry, of course, you see right when we hit play, we can go right through it. Now given the fact that uh, they're both rather simple and cube-like, uh, we won't be creating uh, very complex geometry for either one. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is uh, just double click whatever static mesh. Now remember, this only applies to static meshes. Um, so just go ahead and double click and you'll get the static mesh editor and it's like collision. And you can see the, you can also check balance, see balance. But that's not what we want. We want collision. And then go up to the collision tab and then do six stop simplified collision. And now as you can see, we have a rather lovely uh, box or cube uh, collision mesh. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ones in here, and uh, depending on your mesh, uh, you can see you have little tool tips. Uh, depending on your mesh, you may want to, uh, you know, you may have to kind of work on uh, figuring out which one works for you. You can also do uh, uh, a collision mesh, like a separate custom collision mesh if you'd like. But this is not what this video is covering. So as you can see now, we can bounce around and... Um, can't go through our cube, but we can go through our little tower there. Uh, and for the tower, it's the same thing. Just check that collision so we can see it. And then do a six stop, and there we go. And then click save. Maybe remember to click save. And now we can't go through our lovely, beautiful little tower there. Okay, so that pretty much, uh, is the end of our video. Uh, this was a requested video, so I hope it explained the person. I forget your name. I really apologize. Uh, I hope it explained what you wanted. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, uh, these micro tutorial series, if you have anything else you'd like to add or want to learn, let me know. Uh, I'll try to get around to them and do them uh, as fast as possible. But, you know, uh, I do have a whole bunch of other larger tutorials planned. Um, that's it for this video, and uh, once again, thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, uh, join the Steam group, uh, check out my website, and don't forget, if you like Raven675 for gaming, you can help support it by donating. Uh, any amount of money is appreciated, because, uh, well, you know, it takes a lot of work and time to make these, well, not these micro ones, but the larger ones that are coming up, it does. All right, um, thank you once again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.